August 16, 1977. Graceland, a date that reverberates through history as the day the King of Rock and Roll took his final bow. Behind the iconic gates of his legendary mansion, a series of events unfolded that would shock the world and leave an unshakable mark on his legacy. But what truly happened in those final moments? Beneath the surface of the headlines lies a story of mystery, heartbreak, and unanswered questions. What we uncovered may change everything you thought you knew. Stay with us as we delve into the untold truth behind that fateful day. Elvis Presley wasn't just a musician. He was a phenomenon, a cultural revolution that redefined music and ignited a global fandom that remains unparalleled to this day. With 18 numbers, one hits, his voice electrified airwaves and his presence electrified stages, captivating millions. Songs like Jailhouse Rock and Hound Dog didn't just top the charts, they became anthems of a generation. But Elvis was more than his music. He was a symbol of rebellion, charm, and charisma that transcended time. At the heart of his life stood Graceland, his private haven, and the epicenter of his legend. This iconic mansion, with its lush grounds and storied walls, wasn't just a home. It was a fortress where Elvis retreated from the pressures of fame, a sacred space that became as synonymous with his legacy as his music. Yet, behind the glitz and the glamour, cracks were beginning to show. By 1977, the king of rock and roll was battling a series of escalating health problems. Hypertension and an enlarged colon plagued him, compounded by mild diabetes that only added to his physical toll. These weren't fleeting ailments. They were the kind that required multiple hospitalizations and took a visible toll on his once vibrant presence. His iconic performances, which once radiated boundless energy, began to show signs of strain, a poignant reminder of the cost of a life lived at full speed. But the true depth of his struggles and their heartbreaking culmination remained hidden from the public eye, shrouded in a veil of secrecy and speculation. The morning of August 16, 1977, began like any other at Graceland, a place of both opulence and privacy, where Elvis Presley sought solace from the unrelenting spotlight. But within the secluded walls of his sanctuary, an event unfolded that would forever alter history. In the early hours, Ginger Alden, Elvis's fiance, discovered him unresponsive in the bathroom of his master suite, a space he fiercely guarded as his private retreat. Chaos erupted as desperate attempts were made to revive the king. The house that had once echoed with laughter and music was now filled with panic and heartbreak as the unthinkable began to sink in. The king of rock and roll was gone. The news of his death sent shockwaves around the world, but the details surrounding it only deepened the mystery. Initial reports pointed to cardiac arrhythmia, an irregular heartbeat, as the cause. Yet, whispers of something more sinister began to spread. Rumors of drug use, fueled by the revelation of prescription medications in his system. Autopsy findings clarified some truths while leaving others obscured. Chronic health issues, such as severe constipation and hypertension, were cited as contributing factors, painting a picture of a man whose physical struggles had grown increasingly debilitating. But even with these explanations, questions lingered, casting a shadow of intrigue over the final hours of one of music's greatest icons. Even as the world mourned the loss of Elvis Presley, questions swirled about the true circumstances of his untimely death. Among the most perplexing were the reports of prescription drugs found in his system, medications meant to manage his chronic health issues, but that raised unsettling speculation. Could dependency have played a role, or was it the tragic result of a misunderstood regimen? Testimonies from those closest to Elvis, including family members and confidants, added layers of complexity. Some described a man battling mounting health struggles in private, while others hinted at behaviors that painted a picture of a life teetering under the weight of fame and physical pain. These whispers left the world asking how much of the king's suffering had been hidden behind the glitz of his public persona. 
Amidst the rumors, one voice stood out, Dr. George Nicopolis, Elvis's longtime physician, whose defense of his patient became a focal point of controversy. According to Dr. Nicopolis, the medications found in Elvis's system were not a sign of addiction, but rather the result of accidental misuse. He insisted that Elvis did not have a drug problem, attributing his patient's struggles to an overwhelming schedule and an array of legitimate health concerns. While his words sought to dispel the darker theories, they also sparked debate, with some critics questioning the role of the medical community in enabling such a tragic outcome. Dr. Nicopolis's statements became another thread in the tapestry of unanswered questions, leaving fans and experts alike to wonder about the true extent of the king's battles and the choices that led to his final moments. The news of Elvis Presley's death sent shockwaves around the world, sparking an unprecedented outpouring of grief. Thousands of devoted fans descended on Graceland, turning the iconic mansion into a site of collective mourning. The gates, once a symbol of Elvis's larger-than-life persona, became a gathering place for those who couldn't fathom a world without the king of rock and roll. Priscilla Presley, his former wife and lifelong confidant, delivered a heartfelt farewell, her voice carrying the weight of shared sorrow. The streets outside Graceland were lined with mourners, some weeping openly, others standing silently in disbelief, their candles flickering against the Memphis night. The sheer scale of the tribute was a testament to Elvis's profound connection with his fans, a bond that transcended music and touched their very souls. Even decades later, Elvis's legacy continues to resonate, proving that his influence is timeless. His groundbreaking contributions to music are celebrated in countless ways, from family-led tributes to the annual candlelight vigils at Graceland, where fans gather to honor his memory. Films like Baz Luhrmann's 2022 masterpiece brought his story to life for a new generation, earning accolades and rekindling the world's fascination with the man behind the music. Through it all, Elvis remains a cultural icon, a symbol of creativity, resilience, and passion that endures long after his final bow. As the lights dimmed on his life, the king left behind not just a treasure trove of unforgettable songs, but a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate millions. Graceland was more than just a home for Elvis Presley. It was his sanctuary, a fortress where he could retreat from the relentless pressures of fame. Behind its iconic gates, the king of rock and roll found a semblance of normalcy amidst the chaos of his public life. But it was within the walls of this haven that his final moments unfolded in the bathroom of his private suite, a space so sacred that few ever stepped foot inside. This intimate room, hidden away from the adoring eyes of millions, became the setting for a profoundly human end to a seemingly larger-than-life figure. The irony is striking. The man who stood as a symbol of vitality and rebellion, adored by fans for his electrifying presence, faced a deeply personal struggle that the world never fully saw. In this most private of spaces, the public image of the king collided with the fragile reality of the man, leaving behind a legacy shrouded in mystery and poignant contradictions. If you found this story captivating and want to explore more untold moments in the life of Elvis Presley and other icons, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and we'd love to hear your thoughts. Share your favorite Elvis memory or what you think about his incredible legacy in the comments section below. Your opinions mean the world to us, and they help keep these stories alive.